Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create an adaptive curtain family in Revit. Let's get started. So we go to Families, New, look for Metric Generic Model Adaptive, press Open. Let's go to our floor plan. Here, we need to create point element. Just randomly select an area. Then we're going to put some dimension. Press equal sign. Press escape. And then click it again. And then we need to put label. So let's put this one as one. Let's click report parameter and press OK. Once we finish that, Let's create a spline. Let's set it to our reference level. So let's create uh, the first base of the curtain. So once you're done, press escape and another escape. So here, what we have to do is we need to align this with this line so that we could put a dimension. As you can see, we cannot put a dimension at the moment. So click align. Select this line first, and then this imaginary line. And then press escape. So now we just need to fix some of the points. And then now just tap on the arrow key and let's set it around here. So next is we need to make both of this point as adapted. So select both of them and then while holding control button and then make adapter. Press escape. So now this is going to be our wall and we need something for a gap here. So let's select this align. Select this dimension, sorry. So now press escape and then Let's label this gap. Select instance and then press OK. So our next step is let's go to our 3D. So the next step is to create another point element. 
by just selecting here and then escape click that one again and bring it up so this one will be our height so let's go here so click that So once we select this, just click this associate family parameter. Let's create another one, new parameter. Let's put height, so H, click instance and press OK. And then press OK. So now we have our height. On here, we forgot to place dimension on this. So now, click dimension and then tab so that you could get the endpoint of this. Let's go in the middle and then the endpoint of this. Set this as equal as well and then press escape and then let's put our dimension again click tab another tab to show the endpoint and then now let's label this so w2 instance okay Let's go to our family parameters and we want our, our curtain length or our curtain width to be the same width as of this adaptive point. So now you just need to put curtain width to be equals to the adaptive so press apply and then OK so once it's done we could check that this will change and then the gap as well so here let's put the gap 600 so it's moving and then the height as well so let's check that afterwards so once we're done let's go to our 3d we need to create one more of this so what we have to do is select spline click this set let's look for this one so now that we set that one up we just need to create another one probably here for now and then we're gonna move it press escape Similar to what we did here, we need to align it so that we could put dimension. So let's align, click align, this line to this line. Press 
press escape and then now we just need to clean this up so now let's put in another measurement click tab so that you could get the endpoint press equal and then let's get press escape again and then let's label this as our wall or width too as well okay so now that we set this up we could align this now so this one is aligned to this then let's lock it in place now here we could edit more don't touch this endpoint so once you're happy you can select both of them and then create form so let's see it in our 3d so as you can see we created the curtain let's try and pull it out so it's it's moving let's check the height if it's gonna change put it in 3000 apply okay So here I forgot to put a dimension and label it as height. So now as you can see we could change the height and it works. So let's try it again here in 3D. Okay, so it's working. So now we just need to save this. Let's save it in our desktop for now and then let's create. A new architecture template so here I'm just gonna create 
random wall. I'm gonna put some doors and windows. Or just some windows. So we're good. So let's put this one at level two. So that's easier to see. We have our windows here. Let's load up the prod, the family. Let's load the family. And then now, as you can see, we could basically estimate how big and how wide we want this one, our curtain. So now we could set up the height. So the height we could put this one at 3000. Hit apply. 3000. Hit apply. So it keeps on changing. You can also change the width so this is this will be ideal if you have those false ceiling project so this will be a good curtain for that one thing we could set up is the materials parameter so I could click this one, associate family parameter, let's create one, so fabric material. And then press OK. So now, if we load it back to the project, we could choose materials as well for this. And there you go, fabric material. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.